to Stinker, Drinker, Thinker. We're three guys. We pour some pours. We make some cocktails, and we rank them in uh, this awesome ranking system we've developed that is just the God's honest truth. We'll tell you if they stink, they drink, or they make you think a little bit. Um, and we're back today doing some more cocktails for you. I think the, the last episode we did, we did some summertime whiskey cocktails. Um, and uh, today we're going to do a little bit more of that. Actually, maybe... Um, a little bit like Southern Georgia porch drinking, sipping mm. breakfast cocktails, maybe. That was um, submitted to us from one of our uh, our fans um, through the Cocktail Doctor submission um, entry thing on our website. I'm Anthony Longano. Um, I am joined by my beautiful um, co-host, Troy the Body Viglotti. That's Troy, all, say hello. It, that's all you got? Yeah, I'm trying to be nice. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Troy. Thanks for saying hello this time. Was, Last time he was like, no. That was quick. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm joined by um, Matt McKibble. Matt, say hello, everybody. Uh, um, first and foremost, a couple things I want to put out in the air. We apologize for um, not getting you as much content um, episode-wise, Instagram-wise, YouTube-wise uh, in the last few weeks. It's summertime, um, and for as much... Um, Episodes and content that we've pumped out over the last four or five months. Um, I went on vacation for ten days. Matt just went on vacation. Um, there's there's going on vacation again. Uh, there's week. I'm going on vacation again, and there's a whole bunch of I, I might get one myself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if anybody's concerned. Troy took a day to himself. Yeah, we've also been battling um, the Instagram and Facebook gods um, for. Uh, once again, this time, longest fan we've ever had to battle with them, about five weeks. So um, I think as of today, we got that figured out. This episode is coming live to you on Friday, the 22nd. Um, but again, just to appreciate anyone who's still been following along, at least we gave you some time to catch up. Um, if you're not uh, subscribing on YouTube, please do that. And uh, whatever platform you're listening to us right now, thumbs up. And hopefully we'll look great. Oh, we got new cameras too. Yeah, hopefully they work. New hopefully cameras. This is recording. New right cameras. Now. Santa Claus came early. Yeah. Uh, oh, who's the he Hanukkah came guy? All over. Hanukkah Harry. Hanukkah Harry. He sure. came early for Matt. He came all over Matt. Um, <laughs> well, it was a white Christmas. <laughs> but yeah, we got two episodes coming um, coming to you, and hopefully we get back to the two episodes a week thing here shortly. But again, forgive us. Um, the next two episodes coming up, including this one. Um, I, it's it's All Star Week. We're filming this during the All Star Game. As you can tell, Troy is decked out. Major League Baseball All Star Game. Yes, yes. Yeah. Major League the MLB. We're Major talking League about Baseball. tennis. I thought uh, we were talking about tennis. Do they have an All Star Tennis? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, the Olympics. Yeah, yeah. That's probably <laughs> that's probably yeah. Uh, that's probably it. But um, Troy originally um, did not want to. Not that he didn't want to do an episode tonight, but he is a committed baseball fan, obviously, as you can see. So he wanted to watch the All-Star game tonight. So we have the All-Star game on here for him. Um, obviously, we can't share that on your screen because we'll get sued um, or have to take it down and just be a waste of everybody's time. But um, this episode, we're going to do some cocktails. Next episode should be a fun one. You should uh, definitely come and hang out with us with that. We're, um, me and Troy are going to show you and Matt how we drink while we watch sports. So we'll call that one hanging yeah, out. With I Anthony don't watch sports or drink, so yeah. I'm going to have a lot to learn. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, so that's coming up um, hopefully on Tuesday, uh, this coming Tuesday. So, um, yeah, it's nice to see you guys. We haven't done this in a few uh, weeks. Yeah. What's, been, it, what's been going on? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I went to New Jersey for 10 days. Um, supposed to be a vacation. Ended up making drinks for my whole family, which is fun. That's all. Uh, pretty much all we did is drink. Um, we went through. We did a luau one day, so this, this counts. We went through. Eight bottles of rum, seven bottles of whiskey, um, 17 cases of hard seltzer, six cases of beer, seven bottles of wine. Um, and I was there longer than most of them. So um, that was in about a five-day period. And I found it on a pond tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we went there, <laughs> and I, I'm pretty sure there's, there's more than that. But Sean did come. Sean and Ashley, his wife Ashley, came for the whole week. So um, and we actually had... We actually went out and bought our own supply for before the rest of our family came. So oh, wow. there, it was more than that. Um, How big is the family? How many people? Were there? Oh, man. I think the cousins alone. Um, I think there's 14 of us with the two who aren't married in yet. <coughs> and I think there was 25 or 27 people there Damn. for family week. Okay. Yeah, wow. we roll pretty deep. Um, and uh, ironically enough, um, we'll get to this in a second, but our cocktail doctor submission this evening is from um, my cousin, uh, Dano. Oh, um, okay. And lifelong friends of Troy and I as well. Um, you can follow her on Instagram at Dano. Um, and I think it's Dano makes music now. We'll look it up. She, she sent it to us. She changed it, um, it. a few months ago. Um, sorry, Danielle, I forgot. Um, but yeah, so I, the, the Luau day was interesting. Just in, we got time for a story. Sure. sure. Um, the Luau day was interesting. So my, um, my, my father-in-law and his two brothers, my uncle Bill and my uncle Brian, um, 
obviously all big drinkers. Um, they told me that during the luau, they wanted me to make them a Mai Tai. And I was like, ooh, Mai Tai sound fun. Uh, I'll master the Mai Tai, and I swore to them all week, I'm going to make you the best fucking Mai Tai you've ever fucking had. And they're all like, okay, I don't fucking believe you. No one makes it be- better than the Kona Inn in Hawaii. So I started, you know, making Mai Tais the night before the luau, and I just had him take a sip of it, and it wasn't even close. And I, there's there's two different types of Mai Tais I, I learned, um, and I still made them the best fucking Mai Tais they've ever had. But a Mai Tai is probably one of the most complex drinks I've ever had the pleasure of mastering. <laughs> Um, and there's like fucking 10 ounces of liquor in it. It's 10 <laughs> ounces of liquor and a little bit of juice. Okay. Um, but I ended up having to call the Kona Inn in Hawaii. What? Luckily, they're six hours behind us, so it was really easy. I called the Kona Inn. I was like, listen, I've been making my father-in-law and my uncle's drinks for a day, and, and they say that you make the best Mai Tai. I make fucking really good cocktails. I need to talk to the bartender. So they literally put the bartender on the phone with me, um, and they gave me their Mai Tai recipe. Um and I mastered that. It was cool. I made their recipe better. My cocktail doctor that What did up. you change? You remember? Oh, yeah. A lot. Um, they used... Um, they were doing it all wrong. They kind of were. Um, <laughs> they they kind of were. Um, typically, Mai Tais is three different types of rum, orgette, um, and a little bit of juice. Mm-hmm. Um, and maybe, maybe some, um, some, some simple. Um, Shaken, and then you... Um, you know, two types of rum in the shake, and then you float dark rum on the top of it, and you drink it through. Um, they use juice in theirs. They use, um, besides, typically you use lime juice. They use uh, pineapple and orange juice Here's a question. Theirs. Do they fresh squeeze their pineapple in Hawaii? No. <laughs> or do they get it from the can? No, he literally said on the phone, dull pineapple. Yep. Uh, yeah. Well, it could, be, could be fresh. Yeah. From the Dole Factory. Yeah, yeah from the Dole yeah. Factory. Yeah, the, this resort's on the Dole Factory, yeah. right? Um, Plantation, whatever. But, yeah, so, and they use Di Zerono. Instead of really, uh, instead of like, because an amaretto is uh, an almond based liqueur, so mm-hmm. is orgette. So, um, which is interesting because later in the luau, I ran out of orgette and I used a little bit of um, amaretto and it actually tasted great. Is Di Sirono, what is it? I've had it. Is it a liqueur? Yeah, and it's like an Italian. It's, it's amaretto. Yeah, it's amaretto. Oh, it's just amaretto. Yeah, it's, it's amaretto. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. It's, it is. It's, it's a, a brand. Of it's a, yeah, it's, yeah a brand. Distil- uh, it's a distiller who makes amaretto. Okay. Yep. Makes sense. Um, so, but they use these Serrano in there. So, yeah, man. The Orgette had had alcohol in it, and then fucking, and I think my my recipe it was um, uh, an ounce of Orgette, uh, an ounce of lime juice, an ounce and a half of orange juice, an ounce and a half of um, pineapple juice, uh, two ounces of silver rum, two ounces of aged rum, um, quarter ounce of demerara shaken. And then two ounces of Goslings on top. And actually, Jeez. and for the people who appreciate liquor, I bought a, an Eldorado 15-year <laughs> rum to float on top. So and it was delicious. What you're telling me is you are prepared. You've been making cocktails for a week and Oh, a half. yeah. Dude, my elbows you're ready to barely go. can move. I've been shaking <laughs> and stirring. We're good to go. Um, which brings us to our cocktail doctor submission from um, Dano. Matt, you want to read it to us here? Oh, you want me to read it? Okay. You want to go through the whole thing? Yeah. What? Is your name, Dano? What is the name of your cocktail? I don't fucking know. <laughs> what are the ingredients, including proportions? A glass of champagne, shots of a shot of bourbon, and fresh strawberries. I was prepared. Pour a glass of champagne. Put a shot of whiskey in it. Put some strawberry slices in it. Even I can do that. That sounds awesome. Why do you like it? It's all my favorite things, and the champagne justifies having it for breakfast. A bartender made a better version of it for me when he overheard me complaining how there are no good girly whiskey cocktails. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> wrong, wrong. What are you wanting to improve about it? I'm deaf not making it right. The original version muddled the strawberries and included maple syrup. I tried that and it was a gooey, mushy mess in my drink. Blech. I don't know how the bartender did it originally. Do you have any dietary restrictions or spirits you hate? Uh, no eggs. I'm vegan, but uh, local honey is okay. Uh, is there anything else you'd like us to know? I got so drunk in these ones, I started crying at my friend's birthday brunch for no apparent reason. Sounds like Dano. I'll have to have a good day. Uh, what is your Instagram user? Yeah, it is, in fact. Dano makes music. Yeah. Um, Dano's an awesome artist. She's a great singer, makes good music. Um, I actually got a chance to see her play, her and her husband, Tim, um, at a show in Jersey um, when I was there. And um, I'm very proud of her. Troy, you'd be very proud of her, too. Her original stuff is awesome. Um 
I'm very proud of you, Daniel, for getting that stuff going. If you guys need backing tracks, if any of you are musicians out there, um, if you guys need backing tracks um, or backing vocals for music, she is for hire. Um, it's one of her one of her many many trades, um, and she's good at it. She's got a good professional studio set up up there, and she's um, she's a good songwriter, good lyricist, good um, good melody writer. Um, so yeah, hit her up there, give her a follow. Um, this drink is interesting. So I I I started reading this yesterday, and yeah, it's super easy to you know, throw bourbon, champagne, and strawberries in a glass. And it does sound fucking delicious. But what we do here on Cocktail Doctors is usually people submit us a riff of a cocktail. And she did say that a bartender made her a a drink. Yep. Um, So we usually do the original, then we do the submission, Mm -hmm. and then me and Troy uh, uh, diagnose and subscribe. Um, Prescribe. 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 You guys should subscribe, though. (laughs) (laughs) There you go. all back. So I've been thinking, like, I, I looked up a couple different things. So she mentioned that the bartender made it for muddled strawberries and, and maple syrup. And um, obviously there was whiskey in it and then champagne on top of it. And there's only a couple things I could really think of. I thought maybe originally it was some sort of, like, strawberry maple uh, bourbon smash mm-hmm. type of drink. Um, and then Troy actually made us a drink over the weekend. Troy, what was that What was that drink, you, um, drink we had this weekend? The grapefruit and the honey. I forgot the name of it. The oh, brown Derby. Derby. With yeah. mezcal. Yeah. yeah. You made it with mezcal. Um, <clears throat> there is a brown Derby, um, a strawberry brown Derby. I thought maybe it was a riff on that as well, where they make a, a strawberry maple syrup, and then they use grapefruit juice and bourbon. Hmm. Um, but I think it's more traditionally like a bourbon smash, or uh, like, a, like a strawberry maple bourbon smash. Is that normally have champagne? Um, or is that like, do you put like sparkling? Put something? like sparkling water on top okay. of it. So champagne instead of, um, interesting. Troy, do you know anything about that at all? No. Like, like bourbon smashes at all? Bourbon smash? Yeah. What about it? Well, what, 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 maybe just tell us what it is, because I, I don't think I've ever really. It's it's bourbon, um, simple syrup, lemon, and mint. And it's muddled. Shaken. Using, isn't there like muddled berries and stuff too? No. No? Okay. I mean, if you want to get extravagant. Yeah, I mean, I've seen, I've just seen plenty of things called smashes that have like muddled yeah. fruit. In yeah, it. usually I think of like Cl- classic yeah. whiskey smash does not have berries. Okay, yeah. Cla- so yeah, okay, yeah. Um, do you do you have any idea on what this bartender could have made her based on what he said? I wouldn't say it's a classic cocktail. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, especially if it was topped with champagne. I mean, could have been playing like the what's that with the French seventy five, but with yeah. bourbon. It's a what is it? French ninety five. Ninety five. French ninety five. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. With strawberries. I mean that like that sounds valid. I mean, I can make a French 95 with, with, so I did make, I mean, I have maple syrup. I actually made a strawberry maple um, syrup last night, so I have that. Um, yeah, so I, as far as, like, the original cocktail that it could have been based of before we make her riff on it, I can make a French 95 with bottled strawberries, and we can try that. Like strawberry and champagne, and then, yeah. I mean, or we can there. just, if we can't decide on what cocktail it actually could be, we could just make hers and drink it, and then we can riff on it. Um, cause I do have some ideas on a ref. Um, we could, she did say she uses maker's mark, which I have, oh, okay. um, which is interesting. Well, it's a little sweeter. Yeah. If the, if, huh. Okay. A- and I, opened... I, I'm honestly just very, like, I think I mentioned before when I first saw the submission, I was like, I don't think I can, I, I've never tried those things. I have a good idea of what all those taste like, but I don't have a good idea of what they all taste like together. It's like a bourbon spritzer. I know it's weird. And I used, um, I, is I, it dry I, champagne. Well, like... I asked her, I asked her. And she says a lot of times it's like rosé, prosecco okay. that she has in there. I also huh. bought a bottle of Brut today, too, okay. so we can riff on that. But what I think I'm going to do is I I'm, think I'm just going to go take an ounce of Maker's Mark. I'm going to pour some champagne on it. I'm going to put a couple fresh strawberries in each each of us, and we'll drink it. So, yeah, I think the original in this case, we should try to try to make what she thinks she had. <laughs> can we do that? There's got to be some sweetness in there, though, right? Yeah. Not in the one that she makes, though. That's, that's her riff, and she said she got so drunk on them that she... Do you cry. think we could recreate what the bar we think that she thinks I think the I can are made for her? I think I can. That's the original. I I, I honestly think I can. I, I think I can do that right now. I just try it. Yeah. See what I honestly think it's a bourbon smash with with um with uh, like a float of champagne. All right. And like a bourbon smash spritz. So we're go yeah we're going on the, the and drunk. I'll use the strawberry syrup. Is there mint involved? Not in hers. No. Okay. Does there yeah. have to be mint in a bourbon smash? Yes. In a traditional bourbon smash. But if you look up bourbon smashes, there's a thousand variations sure, 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 of sure. them that are all fresh fruit based. Okay. So. So let's make, just make, I think we should make the original in this case is, is what she thinks she had that inspired her cocktail. Okay. I'll just go and do Does it. That make sense? Yeah. I'll go and do Before it real you quick. you feel good about that? Okay. Yeah. Huh. BRB. Cocktail break. Yeah. <laughs> 
Welcome back for Cocktail Break. This all-star cocktail breaks brought to you by a joke. Hey, it's what's submitted, all right? Hey, well, Troy's not paying attention. Hey, Anthony, I'm just kidding. Hey, Anthony, what's a pigeon's favorite whiskey? I have to guess? Yeah. Uh, well water. I don't know. That's pretty good. Bourbon. Oh, oh my. Did Dano submit that? Yeah. Dano, that was fucking terrible. How did be you ashamed. know? I, you know what? If she told it, I would have laughed. Why? Because she would have said Bourbon, like, like she says it, and it's funny. And she would have uncontrollably <laughs> laughed. <laughs> <laughs> just like that, exactly. and, and that's what would have. Is that what I should start doing? <laughs> yeah. Well, no. You're you know you're not as funny as her. Um, all right. Okay. So, Dano, I think I made what we think this this guy got you wasted on a, a French seventy five riff, which is a French ninety five, which he included maple syrup and strawberries in. So that's what I did. Uh, French seventy five is is gin, lemon juice, and um, simple syrup shaken in with a champagne. Uh, topping French 95 is the same thing, but with bourbon. So what I did is I took um, a half ounce of lemon juice. Well, I took four, um, two strawberries, cut them in half, put them in the bottom of a shaker and I muddled them with a, a whole ounce of maple syrup. And then I put a half ounce of lemon in there, uh, fresh squeezed and two ounces of maker's mark. I shook the shit out of it. And then I strained it with a fine mesh strainer. This is where you get all your yucky muck shit you were talking about. Mm. I strained it into a chilled coupe glass and I topped it off with, with um, some bubble. Oh, you think she wasn't straining it? Is oh, she definitely wasn't straining it. Uh, yeah, there's not a single piece of sediment in here. <laughs> gonna hold up the camera for a dig a sip? Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, man. I know. I'm watching. Troy, he got him out. Can you imagine this baseball play? It's crazy. Troy's ready for the next episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch baseball every day. What do you think? So you had strawberry. You used I muddled strawberry syrup. with um, with maple syrup, half ounce of lemon juice, and which two ounces of bourbon? Which champagne you say? You say? Um, I had a I, I had uh, the brute. I had, no, I, that's a, a rosé prosecco okay. that I had open in the fridge from last night. I didn't think I was gonna like the maple, but I do. Yeah, I actually tried it before I put the champagne on it, and it was delicious. Um, but that's a, a French 95, essentially, without Brut Champagne. I think I want the Brut, not the Rosé. Yeah, I agree. Um, that's what I had open, and yep. I'm saving the Brut for yeah, yeah. our diagnosis. But, um, oh, this is this is the, ro- the Rosé. This yeah. is the Rosé. Yeah. This is the Rosé. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. I think it works. I think it, I think it works, too, but I, I, I think a Brut would be... I think, I think a little bit more... Not dryness, but that, that little, almost like apple-y, like just a little bit like. Interesting that you say that. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Yeah, I mean it's good. It's good. It's a drinker. Um, uh, would you say it's okay? Would you say it's a girly whiskey cocktail? No. Danielle, I can make you a thousand whiskey cocktails that would be quote unquote girly, which is so fucking dumb. <laughs> um, that tastes better than this, and maybe it's not what your bartender made, but I, I, I. Every piece of information you gave me is in this glass. I could I could so. see that someone ordering that and be very happy with it. Sure. I wouldn't necessarily call it girly. I would call it classy. Yeah. Um but maybe maybe womanly. Uh if if you're gonna if you're gonna if you're gonna sexitize it, Dano. <laughs> you can also Se- sexitize a word, guys. <laughs> oh yeah. It is now, baby. Yeah. If you sexitize a cocktail, fuck you. No. Um I don't know. I mean it's gonna be gone yeah, soon. Good. There's that little bit of like um off taste. I don't know. It, it, um, the bottom is getting better. As always, the bottom is delicious. Power bottom. Um, yeah, I like it. I'm not disappointed at all. But I think the brute would be better. I'm curious to see. I actually think I'm going to like her riff better than this. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just put it in the glass. No, no, no. Like, put it in there and leave it in there. Leave it in the glass. Whoever whoever gets the last sip gets to eat it. Strawberries are good. Strawberries are good. Those are good strawberries too. I tried one before I muddled it. Make sure they weren't too like tart. Mm. You know? Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, I, look who gets last sip. Go figure. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Um, I, I will say. Troy, let me know when Mark McGuire is up and I'll pay attention, all right? Marky Boo. Yep. Mark, oh, Zucker- um, Mark Zuckerberg? That's Ken Griffey right there. Look at him. Oh, he, he's betting right. No, that's Ken Griffey Jr. Jr. Oh, I didn't yeah. know he was. I was this is all next, this is next episode a, a content. Switch yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, so I like that. Oh, it's delicious. Matt, you can have the strawberry, bud. No, you said last person. No. All right, I'll drink it later. I'll eat it later. Cool. I like that. I'm going to go make her riff real quick. Um, and then I, I I am fuming with ideas here. Yeah, I'm I excited to get to that part. Yeah. You want to do a second? This is going to be a bat, rapid fire second cocktail break. Ready? Yeah. Let's do it. This is easy. Cocktail break. I'll make, I might make it on the camera. You're going to do it on the camera? Yeah, why the fuck not? Cocktail break. Welcome back from Rattenberg. <laughs> See, your vocal cords are healing. Hey, Quite baby. nicely. Yeah. At least that's funny, even if the joke's not uh, going to be. Hey, Troy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, one, two, or three? Two. I have a question for you, Troy. Okay. You already asked a question. How much money does a pirate pay for corn? Don't know. A buccaneer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's funny. It is. Okay. I laughed. I, funny, I, know, yeah. I thought it was pretty funny. That's clever. It's it's clever. Yeah. Fucking here. You wanted a pun. I give you a pun. Sorry, guys. I was gonna make it down oh. here. Oh, Andres Galarraga just hit a home run. Um, I was gonna make it down here, but I had to poop, so I had to. I totally, <laughs> I totally forgot. It was just like you know, a hit you type of thing. So. Um, here it is. Back from poop break. <laughs> Back from uh, diarrhea break. You wash your hands before you made the cocktail, right? Of course, right? <laughs> twice. Yep. I was cutting the strawberries in the bathroom, though. <laughs> you had a cutting board on your lap. My, like, wife, my wife was like, why is there slits on the sink? Why were you cutting strawberries? Anyway, um, it has a nice little red stain to it now. Not uh, not the toilet, the, oh the counter. Anyway. Um, anyway, so uh, I put uh, I put an, an, about a shot's worth, an ounce and a half of Maker's Mark in the bottom of this champagne coop. Hopping to my coom. Anyway. I'll show the viewers at home? Yeah, I'm, I'm holding it up. Oh, I can't, can't see I, it. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'm, there's pictures on the Instagram, and Matt maybe can funnel them in while he's editing. I'll try. Then I topped it off with that rosé prosecco, and I cut up three strawberries and put them in, and there's plenty of strawberries for everyone to finish. Ooh. And this is Dano's um, Make Me Cry brunch drink. Okay. It's called the Make Me Cry. <laughs> it's called the Home Run Derby. We, may, we named your drink for you, Dano. It's called the Make Me Cry. I like that. Um, it's a bourbon spritz, man. You make Aperol spritzes, you make uh, Aperitif spritzes, you know, you make uh, spritzes. You make spritzy spritzes. Yep. This is, um, this is a bourbon spritz. Okay. Um, is it a girly cocktail, Anthony? I mean, there's no sugar. There's no sugar. And it's bourbon. Mm-hmm. I don't, th- I don't think that could possibly, I mean, it looks like it would be, but. Give it a taste. Tastes good. I would imagine it's probably got to put some hair in your chest. Maybe you want that. Dano does have a very hairy chest, first and foremost. <laughs> Second of all, Dano's not afraid of whiskey. God. Dano drank whiskey neat with me. She was part of the seven bottles of bourbon that went down. We also did a bourbon tasting. By the way, guys, I promised I would do a live episode with all my family that doesn't drink bourbon um, while I was there. We actually sat down and tried to film that. Didn't work out. <laughs> I'll leave it there. Leave it there. Yeah, I'm about um, to cry. Yeah. Cry. <laughs> Cry me a river. That's two JT songs I did in two minutes. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The poop song? No, no, no. The hop into my spaceship <laughs> coop. There's only room for two. What's all to say about this? Matt is always so mean, isn't he, Troy? I'm so mean. mean? Yeah, Matt, you're a grouch. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Not again. <laughs> Bitch, I live in a fucking trash can. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> had to do it. I, knew, I, I, I had to do it. Dave going. won't sue us. All right. <laughs> Gonna um, rewatch Killing Me yeah. Softly. Soon. I think it's. I think it's nice. I think it's light. It's definitely. It's a, it's a good way to drink bourbon without really tasting like bourbon. Although there's, there's definitely notes of bourbon. Needs ice. I could. I could use ice. She didn't say anything about ice, but I bet she does use ice. I don't actually. No, she. I mean, she drinks. I would like it over like a like a cubed ice or something like that. Yeah. Um. I'm perfectly fine with it. Um, I, I, I get the I get the temperature aspect of you needing ice. I, I don't really get the dilution aspect of the ice, though. Um, 
I think Maker's Mark is a good choice for this just because Maker's Mark does have a little bit of that like sweetness. vanilla sweetness yeah. to it. Um, and, um, you know, Daniel, you can absolutely keep buying that. Um, but yeah, I mean, kind of just like a. What do we, what do we think the French 95 riff was with the strawberry bourbon? What, what would we call that? We'll call it as in. Our ranking. Oh. What we do here. Um, I call it a drinker. Yeah. I'd say it's a drinker. It's yeah. A, yeah, it's fine. It's not the best French 95 I've ever had. No, it's fine. Um, but I like the idea of maple syrup with muddled fruit. I like that. Um, this, I'm, I think I'm just, no offense, Danielle. I think I'm just going to call this a stinker drinker. It's, I was going to say the exact same thing. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to drink it. It's going to be gone. I'm going to eat the strawberries uh, that are slowly soaking. Yeah, and, I'm, I'm okay with that. And poaching themselves but in I, liquor. I want like a... I, I don't I don't like mint all that much, but I would like a little bit of fresh herbal like something in there, a little pop. I think I, I do I, want a colder. I, I colder? I would also say a garnish of maybe honey? like expressed oh, man, she likes honey. She said she likes I'm honey. I'm saying honey would be good. Yeah. Um Honey I, syrup. I have some ideas. Troy, what, what are you gonna classify this as? Stinker. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's locked into the game right now. Stinker. Yeah, I don't like it. Stinker. Someone from the you Mets know how I, or what? You, you know how I knew that? I was watching pepperoni pizza commercial. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I knew that? Because I handed it back to you. You did not take a second sip. You just gave it to Anthony. Yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. Papa I John's pepperoni pizza. It's a fucking stinker. <laughs> Anthony is crushing it. That's kind of like where I'm at with with wine aged in bourbon barrels. It's like, I like them. I like my wine and I like my bourbon. And this is sort of giving me that same vibe. It's like... I'm not gonna mix my bourbon with with just straight champagne and and sliced strawberries, unless there's really something redeeming. Yeah, and this doesn't give it to me. I want a sweetness and I want an herbalness. Question, besides, and sherry is te- te- uh, technically some sort of wine, but like Chardonnay cast finished or or, or um, uh, Pinot cast finished or you know wine barrel finished whiskey mm-hmm. in general. What is the overall consensus for you? As a sommelier and a whiskey drinker, there's not one. It, it depends on the distiller and the whiskey. I, I, I like some. I don't like others. I think but it's 50-50 for not be, me. Not because um, because of the combination of wine and whiskey. I just think that you know some are made in, better to me yeah. than, than others. Even with some sure. of the same finish, like some sherry finish I like, some sherry finish I don't like. Right. It's, it's it is totally dependent on what the person did. But I will I will I will be honest, dude. Like. I, I think that I far more gravitate towards sherry finished whiskey than I do like a Cabernet uh, finished agreed. whiskey, yeah. red wine barrel. What about I would say something? I would say I would say like Love. traditional <laughs> I would say like traditional red or white wine barrel finished whiskey is always a fifty fifty mm-hmm. miss or make for me. I would say with sherry finished whiskey, um, I think there's only been one that I haven't liked. It's a it's I would say it's a ninety percent. Um, the Breckenridge PX Ferry, uh, uh, Sherry finished. Uh, it was, it was, it was hot. It was yeah. a little hot. Um, I own a bottle of it, and we, I mean, I drank it during football. It, I mean, it goes down, but, like, it's a stinker drinker. I, I want to try some of the new, um, uh, what are those bottles? I think you have one. Probably. It's the three, they have the, the three finishes. They're tall, skinny. It's Thomas J. Moore. Yeah, Thomas I, I have, I called? have, um... Because they just came out with a Sauternes. I have it right a, here. I, I, it's it came not, three it more. sucks. Um, it's, it's okay. It's flat. Yeah. Um... One I, I can't see it in here. The one I have is a, um, a Cabernet. Oh, you have the Cab. Okay. Yeah, and um, I don't know. Highly disappointed for a hundred dollar bottle. These used to be allocated when they first came out. Now they can't sell them. Mm-hmm. There's been a, a bottle of the Chardonnay finished one on on the shelf at the S and V on, on yep. Dupont for over a year. Yep. And they lowered the price. It's at sixty bucks. Yep. Like, um, I think it's just Barton stuff. It's seventeen ninety two. Yeah. yeah. Um, Finished stuff, which which is interesting that Barton, not to get off task here, sorry, but Barton sourced stuff. I, I like 1792. I have a, a couple of their uh, more allocated or rarer or, um, you know, hard to find bottles here. And the single barrel is great. The 12 year is great. Um, even the foolproof stuff is, if you get a good store pick of it, it's good. I have to, I have it's to try good. the 12 year. Yeah. The, it's, it's open. You're more than yeah. welcome. Um, the, the small batch stuff is, it is what it is, but they do a lot of sourcing. Um, actually, if you buy wh- whiskey, that says it's Kentucky finished or, or Kentucky sourced from Costco from Kirkland, which some of it gets really good reviews. I had a small batch from there that was fucking terrible. That was Barton's 1792 um, finished. 
uh, or not finished, sorry, sourced from there. They, they made it for Kirkland. It was fucking terrible. It was absolutely yeah. terrible. Um, a lot of it is Barton. And, they, yeah. I almost bought a, another small batch that they made at, at Costco the other day that's Tennessee sourced. I'm assuming it's either Dickel. Um, Probably. Um, and it's bourbon from Tennessee. So some of the Dickel bourbon is pretty decent. But, eh, yeah. It's Dickel, you know? It's Dickel. Uh, 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 um, liquor. Anyway, um, cool. this stuff not worth the money. Stinker. Anyway, uh, Danielle, your cock, your cock, <laughs> Danielle, your cocktail. And if I could say that to any girl, it would be her. Um, we're going to make it better for you. When the night goes cold and you get home from a long day of work and you have boob sweat, Mountain Dew, and you want to make that drink that the bartender made you cry at your friend's wedding brunch, what do you do? Who do you call? Who do you call? Troy. I have no idea. It's not Manny Ramirez either. You, call, you, call? Big, you call Big Poppy. Bobby. Hi, Bobby. He hates Big Bobby. He's a Yankees fan. I know, but he's just on the it's TV. The, it's not the closer, Troy. Who do you call, Troy? Um, the cocktail doctors, everybody. Every fucking time I got to do this. <laughs> it's the guy. It's me and you. Who are they? It's Anthony oh. Logano and Troy the Body Vigladi, everybody. Oh, I don't know. Call I myself. Know. We take your liquor <laughs> drinks and we make Hello, them myself? hopefully better. <laughs> If you guys are interested in submitting a, um, a cocktail that you have riffed upon at home that is hopefully better than Danielle's, please go to our website at stinkerdrinkerfinger.com and submit it through the Cocktail Doctor Q. Um, Dan, we greatly appreciate the entry. Yeah, we do. Um, but we're going to make this better. And sorry, Troy's distracted tonight. He's one of your best friends. You think he'd pay attention. I love you. But, um, Don't make it seem like I'm ungrateful. But, but he likes baseball more than Literally, this is, this is, I mean, that looks like Chad Ochocinco playing. <laughs> it is. It, it, it looks like Chad did it. He's not it, interested. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Chad, you playing baseball again, bud? So anyway. He tried That's it. Michael he Jordan. Tried it. Oh, Michael Jordan. <laughs> the only, listen, the only two sport athlete. Who could ever do it right was Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders, prime time, baby. Or Bo Jackson. Yeah, Bo did all right, too, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so anyway, um, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I'm going to finish this and eat a strawberry, and everyone's going to eat a strawberry. Okay, and then? All right, we'll get my mouth full. Troy, here's strawberry. Beautiful. Makes it better with the strawberry, which is interesting. So, last night I fucked around with this. There's been all this craze online about... Balsamic vinegar cocktails. I've been seeing it everywhere. Good boy. And it sounds super interesting to me. Yeah. Uh, I, I love balsamic vinegar. With good vinegar. vinegar. Oh, yeah, okay. with, with good vinegar. It has to be with good vinegar. Um, and then you you think about like a like a strawberry vinaigrette or like a like a like a summer salad with balsamic and strawberries and and, and oil type of thing. Um so I made a um I used a, a barrel aged, a bourbon barrel aged maple syrup and, and strawberries with some lemon peels. Um, I got some pictures of that, how I made it. Just a basic simple syrup recipe, um, one cup of the, the barrel-aged maple syrup, uh, one cup of water, a ton of strawberries, um, a lemon peel, and I let it cook for about a half hour on a low simmer, and then I added just a little bit of um, lemon, fresh-squeezed lemon juice at the end just to kind of give it some acid, make it cut a little bit. came out really good. Um, I wasn't necessarily happy with the drink when I made it. And I used rye because I, I wanted to use like a spicier kind of like uh, herbal poppy rye. And it, 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 it didn't really do well. So I, I honestly, I think we're, when we do this tonight, we're going to try um, Maker's Mark. I think Maker's Mark is actually a pretty good um, pop for this type of cocktail. So made that syrup. And Dan, I made that syrup because I know you're too fucking lazy to strain your shit. Um so you can make the syrup at home, and I know you've been getting into cooking and things like that, and you, and you told me literally last week that you want to get better at cooking, and I see all, all the posts that you make about cooking and stuff like that. So, um, And we kept this 100% vegan. I actually really, 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 really wanted to dry shake it with an egg first um, to kind of give it like this nice foam kind of because froth. she told you you couldn't? Well, no, but there's this other <laughs> stuff called um, something faba, cute faba. Uh, uh, aquafaba. Aquafaba. Dano, and I know you love chickpeas. You can make, you can substitute what an egg white would do in cocktails with aquafaba. Uh, so if you have any of that laying around, I, I would maybe suggest doing that. I didn't have enough time to get this, so or or make chickpea water, so I didn't. But made that syrup. I used a um, um, used a half ounce of that, and I muddled it with um, a whole wheel of lemon. Uh, I ran out of strawberries because I made your syrup. Um, I'm gonna muddle it tonight with strawberries and lemon. Okay, depending on what Troy says. I used a, a half ounce of balsamic vinegar, two ounces of rye, I shook it, I poured it into a coupe, chilled coupe, um, and I p poured that rosé prosecco on it. So I slammed it. It was gone. It was 
absolutely fucking delicious, but it needs some help. Um, where my my number two, my mini me, <laughs> mini me, one million cocktails. Um, I would say the vinegar cut a little bit. Um, I don't. What what type of input would you have? First and foremost, if you were going to take her cocktail, what would you do? That's what I did, and then maybe we can kind of combine our two things here and and give it a proper prescription drug. Uh, I don't uh, know. Um, proper doctoring. I haven't had nearly as much time to think about it, but um, I sent it to him two days ago. One day ago, twenty four hours. Yeah, which <laughs> that's I the was, Italian I, too. I was not. I was there's not. You are not. Listen, there's a there's a two in the numbers of hours. That that means two in Italy. Two days. Go. You did ask me if I'd ever had a, a cocktail with balsamic vinegar, and and I I I remember now. We had a a Bloody Mary list at a restaurant that I worked at, and I forgot we did a strawberry. Balsamic Bloody Mary at one point in time. Oh, that was really interesting. good. Um, but never with whiskey. Never with maple syrup. The maple syrup kind of threw me off. Um, I'm glad that the first drink actually wasn't... It was it was kind of delightful with the maple syrup. Initially, I was going to say don't use maple syrup and use just regular sugar and make like a strawberry syrup. And then muddle some strawberries. I'd, I'd say go easy on the lemon. I would also... If, I don't know if you have fresh basil... Um, but that's one thing I would definitely try and add to take the place of the mint and in, in the idea of doing like a, a bourbon smash, um, something herbaceous, which would also kind of make up for the fact that the rye wasn't working out. But this could actually be a freshness that you wouldn't get from the bourbon, but you'd get the sweetness from the bourbon. Strawberry basil balsamic is like all classic yeah. flavors that work really well together. Too. Exactly. Yeah. So and I mean, I would want a large cube. I, I, I personally really. Yeah. With a champagne float. Yeah, okay. and and the reason I say that is because Spagliato is my all time favorite brunch drink that has traditionally a large cube, even though you do top it with prosecco. What is that drink? The uh, Cam- either Campari or some sort of lighter red bitter aperitif, uh, sweet vermouth and prosecco to take the place of gin and Negroni, whiskey and a Boulevardier, whatever you want to do. But um, but it's served over a large cube, and I think even though there is sparkling wine in it, it just it just mellows it out. So here, here, here are my thoughts. Yeah. I really like what you just said. That actually gave me, I think, maybe some missing things. So um, I want to take strawberries. I want to take lemon and want to muddle it in that strawberry syrup that I made. Hear me, hear me out. I want to muddle it in there. Okay. Um, I don't have fresh basil. Actually, I might have fresh basil. If I have fresh basil, would you want me to muddle it? Um, or, or maybe, but definitely garnish at the very least. Okay. I don't, um, okay. I'll work with that. Um, I'll do, I think, I think I'm going to do less balsamic. Yeah. I think I'm going to do a quarter ounce sure, balsamic. A little bit goes a long way. And then I think I'm going to add a little bit of an aperitif to it. Why do you want to muddle lemon? Um, just be, I don't know. Should I not? I wouldn't. I wouldn't initially think to. Like a small, thin wheel, muddle it with the strawberries. Yeah, I mean. Just kind of. You, you f- definitely find a way to get the acid in there, but muddling a lemon, especially like the pithiness, I, I, I'm, I'm wondering what that would what that would do to the, the end result. A gentle boy, gentle muddle. Yeah. I was also thinking, Troy, what about like, um, and you said this before, I have like these beautiful apple spiced bitters. Kind of wondering if I added like a, like a single dash to each cocktail of that. And muddled the strawberries. I mean, I don't know what it would really. I have no idea. Like, I don't know how much it would it would stand out. But if you if you if you think that it would, Throw a little I bit think of spice. I, I think I mean, and, and, and Troy didn't have the cocktail I made last night too, so I, I understand you're yeah. going and blind here. Yeah. But so main thing is I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do less balsamic. I'm okay. gonna I think in 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 where that half ounce is missing, I think I'm gonna use a Starlino aperitif in there. Okay. Um, instead of Campari. That sounds like it would work. Yep. And then I'm going to use... probably some natural, like, not natural, but some some innate, like, strawberry aroma. Yeah. In that. Uh, and grapefruit. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. kind of, that bitterness that yeah. you get from a grapefruit. Um, also some sweetness, too, that I, I really feel like that drink was lacking. Um, the drink was great. Um, but I think, I think that would kind of help. I would, I, 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 there was some sort of missing spirit there. Um, yeah. and then, um... Obviously, I'm going to use bourbon. I'm going to use the Maker's Mark, I think. Okay. Do two ounces of that. And then I'm going to use Brut instead of Rosé. Yes. I think you're on your way, man. All right. Let's see what you got. Let's see what I got. See what yeah. your, doc, your cock is docking. See what my cock is docking. 
If you smell what the cocktail is cooking, cocktail break. Brought to you by Bless you. Troy. <laughs> one or three, Troy. One or three. One or three. <coughs> oh my god. Two. Two. One or three, Troy. One or three. Swing better better. One or three. I'll take two, please. Um, Number two. Whichever. I don't care. What's the difference between a poorly dressed man on a unicycle and a well dressed man on a bicycle? Mm. A tire. <laughs> Are these still user submissions or no. fan submissions? These are the internet. The power of the internet brings you these jokes. All right. First, I'm going to say this before we start. A uh, whiff from back here without even putting my nose in it. My grandmother used to make a very specific smoothie for me every time I visited her in Florida. <laughs> it smells almost identical to that smell. Really? Mm-hmm. She- Strawberry, banana, it's like popsicles, a little bit of orange juice. So anyway, want to talk about it? Because this looks different than what I had in my mind. I want you to drink it first. Okay. Troy, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, you motherfucker. Very similar elements to that. To the smoothie? Yeah. It's like a popsicle. A strawberry, banana, popsicle, a little bit of yogurt hint. I will tell you, there's no banana in it except for the garnish. I know, but it smells like that. Yeah. It's got that luscious, like, oiliness, like a banana kind of feels like. Troy, what do you you think? You're going to put the apple in this? Yeah. I like it. I actually kind of want more balsamic, though. (sighs) Yeah. I do like it. I'm telling you, if I did any more, it'd be too much. Just because I, yeah, I don't tried want, it. I don't want necessarily more. I think it's very yeah. interesting. I'm yeah. very happy with it. It tastes exactly like a, it literally tastes like a smoothie. The cool thing is, you're going to have to, it does. You're going to have to drink it to get the full experience. And this is, Danielle, this is why you're going to end up crying at brunch again. Um, it's all we want. At the bottom of this, the, the initial cocktail, honestly, could have been a fucking cocktail by itself. But we just put some champagne on top of it. Um, absolutely fucking fantastic before I put it in there. Um, and we're going to name this together, but I'll tell you what it did. So I took, I didn't take a lemon wheel. I took a lemon peel and um, two strawberries cut in half and two dashes of this like aromatic apple bitter that I have, a spiced apple bitter that I have. Two dashes mm-hmm. of that. That makes sense. And I muddled it, uh, muddled the shit out of it. Um, and I, I, I added a, a half ounce of the Starlino, um, aperitivo, um, and Daniel, any aperitif that you can find on the shelves will do this, but that one in particular is super sweet, but it's got like this beautiful, bitter grapefruit finish. Um, where you are in New Jersey, you should be able to find this a little bit more than, um, I actually like stock up on it when I go to Jersey. Um, guys, if, if you, uh, if you guys haven't fucked around with the Starlino stuff, or if you're looking for an O, or like a like a, a low ABV uh, Wednesday drink, um, honestly, just pour two ounces of that into a cup, put some ice on it, and put some sparkling water on top of it, and go go to heaven. Um, absolutely delicious stuff. So I put a, a half ounce of that in there. I put a quarter ounce of balsamic. I used really good high grade Italian balsamic vinegar that I got at um, the Italian market here in town. It's like a fucking forty dollar a bottle of balsamic. Um, I used a quarter ounce of that. And then that's oh, you, I know which one. Yeah, and then I used um, I used three quarter ounce of the strawberry maple syrup that I made last night. And again, that is uh, one cup water, one cup. I used a, a barrel, a bourbon barrel finished maple syrup from Crown, I think is the name of the company. Um, and then I, I used about a, a whole a whole tin, normal size, small tin of strawberries from the store, um, cut up, and and two lemon peels. I let that simmer for about thirty minutes. At that point, I added a little bit of fresh squeezed lemon juice in it and let it simmer for about another 15 minutes to cool. And then I used two ounces of Maker's Mark, just standard Maker's Mark. Um, shook the shit out of it. And then I strained it through a fine mesh strainer into a chilled champagne coupe. So it's about a, it's about an eight-ounce coupe. Um, and then um, I poured Brut on top of it uh, all the way to the rim. And I garnished. Actually, I took a lemon Ooh. peel. I expressed it. And then I took a little piece of banana and a little piece of strawberry and I put it on the rim. I'm telling you. Tastes like an adult smoothie. 
I think we're going to call it the vegan brunch smoothie. It doesn't have the, the consistency of a smoothie, though. That's no, 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 why no. I don't really... It's all the flavors of a smoothie. And I, and I didn't have basil. Oh, my God, it's getting better with every sip. I fucking love liquor, guys. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, I, don't, I don't get any smoothie vibe to it. I definitely get, like, a brunch. So much, so. It, to me, to me, it tastes like... Like one of those salads that you have on cheat day, you know. There's no lettuce involved with it, but it's just like that balsamic strawberry, fucking shit. I don't, I don't with tons. Of, no like, lettuce. What what's in it? I don't know, man. It reminds me of like a vinaigrette, like, like a, iceberg, like an alcoholic, an alcoholic vinaigrette with corn syrup in it. Even though there's no corn syrup in any of this, it's like one of the cheat day fucking dressings that you would use on your salad. Maybe that's a better. I'd way to be put very it. curious with basil. What what basil? I think basil this. would be an excellent touch to this. Unfortunately, I didn't have any fresh basil. I only had dry like, basil. Like a and drop I didn't of like basil oil, like on top, or like. I mean, just a basil leaf in the center of the drink. Yep. I don't know. We should do do some basil oil yep. incorporating into yep. our cocktail. I fucking love basil. Um, Basil. Ba- Basil? Troy, I need you to take a, a, a little bit of a, not even a sip, a gulp, and just kind of give me give me your thoughts because it's getting, the good stuff, the good stuff eat, is there. I'm going to do this. I just want to eat this banana, but I'm going to put it right in there. I was thinking about actually, I was banana. thinking about taking the banana and covering it in demerara sugar and torching it and caramelizing oh. it. Uh, that's what I was saying yes. in the group chat last night. I think that would be, in just kind of putting that in the center of the drink, just a caramelized uh-huh. banana. Uh-huh. I think it would kind of be awesome, and it would add like that. It'd be a bananas Foster smoothie. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's not a smoothie, Matt. It's a smoothie. I fucking strain the shit out of it. It's not a contexture. It is reminiscent of the flavors of a smoothie. I'm not getting that, any smoothie. That that makes it seem like all smoothies are created equal. Banana strawberry smoothie. <laughs> it's so, so it's, it's so interesting. Strawberry banana. It's, because the, the more <laughs> so, I would I would bet at this point this is about where the cocktail, and I'll show it to you on camera here, guys. This is about how much liquid was in the glass before I added the champagne, and I filled the champagne to the rim. Um, I would bet that I drank all the champagne now, <laughs> and um, I'm getting right to that good liquid that I put in the glass. It is absolutely a thinker. Um, there's so much to think about. There is a sweet, succulent, maple, strawberry goodness going on with like a, a hint of like cinnamon. and Such an intense... And like, I don't even know what that is. I mean, it's got to be the balsamic, but is that just in really? But that balsamic kind of just like wraps like this, like hearty shell around it, mm-hmm. and really kind of, I don't know, man. It kind of makes it go down. Um, I never thought about drinking balsamic vinegar, but I've I've seen, like, I don't I don't know if you guys have seen this. DM me if you if you have any balsamic cocktail rec, um, recipes, rec, 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 rectories, rectums. rectories, um, but. They are like kind of like the fad right now, from what I've seen. Everywhere I see, there's balsamic cocktails everywhere, and I'm down. I fucking love balsamic vinegar. Um, Dano, I know you would too, so I figured, I don't know. If you want to elevate your cocktail skills at home, Danielle, which I, I know you'd, you would be into because you always take a challenge. Um, this oh, is Oh, baby. <laughs> Sammy, so- a- Sammy Sosa just... Put it in the parking lot, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just took a shot of steroids in his cock and hit one in the parking lot. He hit a, he hit a, a Rolls Royce. Actually, it was Al, Al Baldwin's Rolls oh, Royce. You see Al him? Gore? No, no, Al Gore's not there. Al Gore's oh saving the internet. fighting God. climate change. Anyway, um, if you want to elevate this at home, this is this is a cool thing for you. Just to, First of all, there's a cooking element to it. You make everything in this shit as fresh as fuck. Um, I think... I think you would very much enjoy this, Daniel. Yeah, torch banana and a basil. Two options I'd like to try with this thing. See see where it took it. But I'm, I put the banana in here. I'm drinking it through the banana. Yeah. Pretty good. Really? How do you drink through a banana? A banana floats, so it hits your lips as you drink through it. Troy, I need you to get on our level here. Troy's busy watching his boy hit homers. Yeah. I, I'm allowed to say his real name, right? Like, you can say his name. Okay. I just think it would be funny if we didn't. It's like Beavis and Butthead shit. I know. <laughs> it's just, it's getting. Uh, Who's on first? I don't want to wear out the novelty, you know? Tune into next episode. Who's up now? Uh, Judge? T- tune up next. Judge week. Judy? Sorry. <laughs> next week, when the, the All Star game will have been a week old, but you didn't pay attention the first time, so now you can listen to us watch it. Yeah. That's going to be a shit show, guys. Just giving you a fair warning. Um, but this is great. I think it's great. Good job. I, I, think, I think we beefed it up quite a bit. Um, made it's, it very interesting, made it complex, 
There's a wide variety of flavors that I know she will like. Um, it really is. You can kind of get the same elements that the other cocktails had, but just better. Yeah. More complex. The only thing unhealthy in it, if you use all like organic from the fucking tree maple syrup, uh, the only unhealthy ingredient in it is uh, is whiskey. And I'm not going to ever admit that that is unhealthy because it is. Does drinking through the banana change it for you at all? Yeah, I think caramelizing the banana, wow. torching the banana. You get a lot more banana flavor. Yeah, I almost kind of think maybe I should have muddled the banana, too. Mm, no, torching the banana, though. Do you have anything as far as input? He thinks, he thinks that the, the, the New York Yankees should have made this cocktail. Um, I think the banana changes the whole profile of it. I think it, it takes away from the strawberry. Uh, and especially if we did like more banana, like caramelized banana or a muddled banana, because and 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 I and I just I want a little bit more balsamic. Other, it's delicious. Don't get me wrong, but I I want strawberry balsamic. Then you need to drink more, man. It's it's there. I, I'm, the glass, I'm, the glasses. I'm not, are, I'm not drinking. Guys, use excuse use a me. Six ounce glass instead of an eight ounce glass, and you'll get the balsamic quicker. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Drink. I am. I'm not drinking slowly whatsoever. You're just chugging over here. No, I don't. Jesus, I don't chug. He's liquor. never chugged a drink in his life. Troy. Liquor, Troy. Barely know her, man. Fuck. I'm like, the shirt's available. What I'm were you enjoying saying? it. What were you saying, Troy? I I, I think I said everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cheers. I like it, but but I think the banana is different. Makes yes, it more of a smoothie. It's a, I know. Yeah, strawberry banana is different than strawberry and balsamic. I thought the banana was a nice touch. It is. It, it absolutely and, is. And, and I, I want, thought about uh, caramelizing it, but I didn't because I thought maybe it could overpower. But um, I could see Matt's point and I could see your point. Yeah, I'm not even talking about it from a from a cocktail doctor perspective. And that I agree with you, Troy, actually. It is a different – that does change it. But just from a cocktail perspective, I think it would be interesting to have the torch. Of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, and, and I would like that. Might not be for this cocktail. Yeah, I would, yeah. I, and I would like yeah. it either way. Like, I love bananas, and I love, uh, you know, yeah. I love everything else that's going on in the cocktail. Yeah. I make a banana sazerac that has a caramelized banana, banana, banana rack. It's called the banana rack, literally. Hmm. There um, you go. Um, <laughs> literally, <yeah>. literally <laughs> is what it's called. Cool, um, Troy. Sorry, you're, you're, no, you're we'll, okay. we'll we'll back up and we won't argue here. My, my no, no, no. I, I swear, I'm not trying to argue. I, well, I, I, I like was. The drink. So my my, <laughs> my, my point, my okay. point, and I was being an asshole. My my point is. Once you get to a certain layer of purgatory here, yeah, the balsamic pops. It's there. I can't I, wait. I well, just all you got to do is drink. That's what I was telling I you am. before. I, yeah. Have you seen me? Not, drink, stop drink. drinking. <laughs> <laughs> but I, the thing is, you don't. You don't. There's Ocho Cinco excuse again. Excuse me, Chad. Sorry. Ex- <laughs> <laughs> you don't. Oh, you don't. Next one's you don't give good. a little swirl when you top the when you top it with uh, sparkling wine. I do. What you mean, like pour it around the drink and not just like pour no, it? No, 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 no. Like pour it and then sp- like s- swirl it with a spoon. I do not. Is that okay. something? Well, then it would you you know it would mix mix together and it wouldn't. I wouldn't have to wait until the bottom. Few well, steps. okay. So my explanation there and my defense is I like the idea of an evolving cocktail. Yeah. Um, that so be- I like to drink liquor through things. Yeah. I like to drink liquor through liquor. Yeah. I like to drink liquor through water. That's a, that's a like, very good point. Like, Matt likes to drink liquor through bananas. Yeah, and he, he did say it. And Matt likes to do a lot of things with bananas. So, like um, mix. so my point of not mixing that there, I guess, is is yeah. mainly just because I want I when, want it to change. The last sip, yeah. I want it to be like, yeah. holy fuck, I need another one of those just so I can have that point again. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know no, that that is extraordinarily valid. But here I am, just impatient, taking your time. You're just moving along. We'll forget about you after you've been gone. Yeah. That's right. Your, your, your drink's gone, gone there. Adios. <laughs> Strawberry banana. So, great job, Anthony and Troy. This is an 8-ounce glass, glass supposedly, but it's gone. this is like a 10-ounce cocktail. Yeah. Um, I think that was a successful doctoring of a cocktail. I was playing oh, the I trombone. Oh, okay. I tricked you. It's playing the trombone. <laughs> you really, <laughs> mind out of the you're, you're really no, seriously, me, Matt. Huh? What the fuck is wrong with you? I thought you were dicking me, not uh, tricking me. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, I'll dick you anytime. Anyway, um, Daniel, thank you so much for submitting that to Love you, us. Dano. Um, thank I'll you. text you the recipe. Hopefully, uh, you'll actually make it and try it. Yeah, you come. Um, you come, and I'll make one for you, and it'll be, you know. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and on that note, I'm not done. Okay. I was just kidding. <laughs> if any of you guys have recipes that you'd like to submit, go to stingerdrinkerthinger.com, submit it to the cocktail doctors. Uh, me and Troy will fight about it. Um, <laughs> Bloody. With this episode, 
Um, Dana's going to be doing some cool things on her Instagram page that will lead you to our page Ooh. where we're giving away some liquor. But yeah, make sure you're following us on there. And um, we're always giving away something. A lot of the times it's liquor. A lot of the other times it's liquor and merch. Um, <laughs> but, you know, what happened? You got out a second? No, I was just laughing. A lot of times it's liquor. No, it's, I think it's always liquor. <laughs> it's always liquor. <laughs> and sometimes it's liquor yeah. and merch. Yeah, yeah. Um, and again, uh, still, we have, we have uh, actually gotten quite a few orders this past week or two, but um, we still have a, a bunch of little 50 milliliter bottles of liquor to give you. Um, all stuff, most of it, at least, that we've reviewed on here. So if you spend $30 in our shop on Instagram, we'll send you a free bottle of liquor. Um, take a picture with it. Um, Post on Instagram. We appreciate it. Um, until next time, guys. Next time we're going to be trashed. Um, the well, next episode. Not. No. The next episode. Responsible adults. No. <laughs> no, no. The next episode is called Bottle Kills. Functioning. Can, can How to called, watch sports with Anthony and Troy. It can't be called Slammers and Sluggers? Slammers and Sluggers. Tuggers and Rubbers. Sluggers and Rubbers. <laughs> <laughs> oh Stay tuned. <laughs> Bottle kills. How to watch sports with Anthony and Sluggers. Troy coming up at you. Uh, thanks again for everything, guys. Troy, lead us out. Yo, who That was bullshit. Do it again. <laughs> do it like if you're you've been sitting here fucking distracted the whole do time. Like yodel. If, do it like if one of your New York fi- your fucking players hit a hold home run. They don't yodel in New York. <laughs> they fucking give you the finger. <laughs> yodel. Do it. Yeah.